Welcome to Short Circuits. Today I have opened this old analog clock. And the most interesting part in this analog clock is this crystal oscillator. This crystal oscillator is the heart of this clock because it provides pulses after one second. It provides electrical pulses to an electromechanical part in this clock which drives the gears and you get precise ticks of one second and everything is possible because of this crystal oscillator. Because this crystal oscillator oscillates at very high frequency in order of megahertz, I'm going to show you that this crystal oscillator actually provides high frequency pulses and this high frequency pulses are divided by the small chip which sits here. You can see the small shiny part, this is a chip. So after getting divided, it provides a pulse after one second. So this pulse actually is provided to this coil. You can see this coil. This is the electromechanical part. This coil converts electrical pulses into magnetic field and that magnetic field magnetizes this plate and there's one gear attached to a magnet. So whenever this plate gets magnetized, the gear lifts up and it moves the gears inside this machine, which indirectly drives the clock. So in this way, this clock works. And further, I'm going to solder the pads. I'm going to make this circuit actually hooked up to a breadboard. So I'm done with the soldering. And as you can see that there are four wires coming from the circuit. These two are the power providing lines and these two are the output signal lines so one of the line carries the signal and one is ground so i need to figure out which one is the ground and that can be done easily by swapping the wires and then unswapping them in another test so this circuit requires overall very less power it operates on 1.5 volts so i'm planning to use a voltage divider network to power this circuit so here is my idea how I'm going to power this circuit. So there is a voltage divider network which consists of, so I have 5 volt supply, so I'm using 5 volts. This voltage divider network in which register R1 and R2, so the output voltage is given by this register R2 divided by R1 plus R2 the sum of these two resistors into 5 volts that is our supply voltage so that will give us the voltage here so we want it to be 1.5 volts and by selecting proper resistors combination I will get here 1.5 volts and that voltage I will fit to this circuit this crystal circuit so this is the supply line and this is the ground and the output I will ground one wire and another wire I will connect it with a resistor to one transistor. So I'm hoping to see some output here. So this LED will flash when the signal uh, approaches to the base of this transistor. And you will see a flashing light after every one second. So let's make this circuit and see what this circuit does. So the circuit is made on breadboard and as you can see the output is flashing after every two seconds and the crystal oscillator circuit is powered on it gets power from this 1.5 volt battery and this amplifier is made using a single transistor so the amplifier circuit is powered using a 5 volt source so this is 5 volt supply so this amplifier requires 5 volts and this circuit is powered using 1.5 volts so my idea was to use a voltage divider but that didn't work because if we try to common the ground of these two circuits I mean the amplifier ground and this circuits ground then this circuit won't work the LED will remain on and I don't know why this is happening but this is the problem and the circuit works only with external 1.5 volt source another problem was that I didn't figure the volt power lines correctly so these are the you can see that I have soldered this wire to this pad 
and earlier it was soldered here so I have soldered it here so I figured out the correct power lines and then everything was working as expected I am getting a periodic signal at the output and I can use this signal in to make a digital clock I can use this timing signal in my further projects where I require precise time intervals to make a frequency counter I need to ask you one question that this LED is flashing after every two seconds but the clock ticks after one second so why is that so anyone who knows the answer please write it down in the comment section it will be a great help so thanks for watching this was the video hope you enjoyed and learned something